the other video was really long, so I'm just thinking I'll just make a really short uh, um, video on default settings that you could use for stealth. Um, up the minimum uh, samples to something like four. And of course, we're using GI. Um, under buffers, final render, noise filtering, turn that on. Under render, turn on enable noise filtering. And once again, when we click this one, well, in this case, you got a preview because I already rendered it. But if it's a black image, if this is black, then what you got to do is you got to do a render first and then um, click this noise filter options button. So this is just going to be a really short video on um, default uh, noise filtering settings you could use for still images. So that's our render. Again, click on after having hit F9 and rendered, choose noise filtering options. And yeah, this is set to 400, but that's the right. Um, you can see that by using this, well, YouTube is going to screw this up, but. Uh, using uh, uh, the default here by 3 and setting the tolerance to 0 0.01 is going to give you a very good result and I would just rem I recommend using that for stills uh, perhaps push it up as high as 0 0.02 um, but that's pretty much it. Uh, that's if you don't want to mess around with um, these settings here, and probably you shouldn't because it's really advanced uh, and it's only gonna up your quality by like eight percent or something like that. So, um, so if these are necessary. Well, they can be. For example, this one could be for architectural renders uh, with a lot of flat surfaces. But um, in general, just stick to 3 and a tolerance of 0 0.01 or 0 0.02, and that's going to give you uh, pretty much, uh, it's going to be. not a hundred percent as good, good as it could be but 90 percent of how far you can really push this uh, noise reduction filter so if you're com if you're like um, confused about these guys then it, i mean i talked about that in the, in the other video but don't mind these guys that much watch the other video if you want to see more up about what these settings does in context and stuff, but only messing with this and this is going to get you uh, a ninety percent result uh, anyway. So uh, I'd advise you to just drop these guys. Really, uh, it's it's probably not worth it in regards to how much time you're going to use tweaking these guys. So. So that's it. Don't touch this one. And this one set it to 0 0.01 or 0 0.02 and that's going to give you pretty much the result you're looking for.
again this v YouTube video is going to screw up this preview but uh, just test it so uh, um, YouTube is going to screw up this video because it's going to denoise or it's going to smudge out all the noise in this <laughs> preview anyway but just test this uh, point zero 0.01 and point zero 0.02 and it should be good to go